Hello, dear students. Today, we're going to learn about um, a finding parameter of a compound shape. In the previous video, we learned about finding area of compound shape, while in this, in this lesson, we're going to learn about finding parameter of a compound shape. So, to find the parameter of a compound shape, it's easier than finding the area, by the way. Just you need to add up all the outside length, all the outside length. So basically the parameter is the total distance around a 2D shape. It's the shortest distance around 2D shape. I will show you what does it mean. Now look, uh, let's have a look at this one. This one is not a square, it's not a rectangle. I don't know the name of this shape. Since it's made up of a different shapes like rectangle and squares maybe, we call it compound shape. So to find the compound, the perimeter of a compound shape, we need to add up all the side length around the shape, okay? Now, but as can you see here, we have missing side, right? How can I find any missing side in, in a compound shape? By looking at the opposite side. The opposite side are equal. Now. Look at this one. This is seven centimeter and this is seven centimeter, right? Now, I don't know the length of this side. What should I do? How can I know the missing side? By looking at the opposite side, okay? Since this is a 12, from here to here, it's a 12. And I know this is seven. How did I know from the question? It says here seven. Seven plus what equals a 12? Seven plus five. Now I know this one, this side is five centimeter. Again, how did I know it's five centimeter? By looking at the length or um, the side, the side, okay? The opposite side. This is a 12 and this is seven. Seven plus what equals a 12? You need to complete it to 12. We need to add up five centimeter more because seven plus five is 12. Now I know this part or this side is five centimeter. Now I have only one missing side, this one. What should I do? Look at the opposite side. This one, we, we should look at the opposite side. It's, it's 18, right? But this is not 18, it's part of the 18. You need to move, this is seven, so from here to here, it's seven. Seven plus what equals 18? Seven plus, again, seven plus what equals 18? It's 11. Now I know the missing side here is 11 centimeter. How did I know this is 11? By looking at the opposite side. The opposite side is 18 centimeter, but this is not 18. It's only part of 18. So we need to remove seven centimeter from the 18. 18 minus seven is 11, right? Now, what should I do with all these side lengths? We have to add them up. Just you need to add 18. When you put the number, just to cross it out to make sure not to add it again. That's it. 18 plus 12 plus 7 plus the other 7 plus 11. Okay? As can you see, I'm crossing out all the numbers that I found here, plus 5. You need to add up all these digits to get the parameter at the end. Okay, let's start adding together. We can add 18 and 12 is, is 30. Okay, 7 and 7 is, is 14, plus 11 and 5 is 16. Good job. Now let's add, now we have three numbers. We have to add them. 30 and 14 is 40. 4 plus 16 is 60 centimeter. As can you see here, the unit is just centimeter because we are adding up the side length. We are not multiplying. Not like in the area. In the area, the, the unit is always to the power of 2. While in the perimeter, just put the unit as centimeter, meter, millimeter, and so on. So when you add up all these side lengths, the answer is 60 centimeter, which is the total length around 
this compound shape. Now let's move to the next example. Here we have um, a different compound shape, but in this case, we need just to find the um, any missing side length without finding the perimeter. So to find any missing side length, we have to look at the opposite side. Since this is six, so this side is six as well. See how it's easy? To find any missing side, just look at the opposite one. So you can figure it out. Now, this is 15, so the opposite side is, this side is divided into three equal parts. So 15 divided by three is five centimeter. Now we know these two uh, missing side length. Okay, dear students, now let's solve um, a different example. It's your turn now, I want you to focus. Uh, read the question carefully. You need to find the perimeter of the compound shape. Be careful, find any missing side before you start adding. Good luck, everyone. Welcome back again. Hopefully, all of you get the correct answer. Now, let's uh, solve the last question for this video. This question, um, in this question, you need to find the perimeter of the compound shape. As I said, the first step, you have to make sure that all the side lengths are written on. By looking at this, uh, uh, by looking at this one, we can see that we have two missing sides. But there is a trick we can use. We can just complete the shape into a big rectangle. Let's complete it. We can complete the shape like this to get a rectangle. Now, what we know about rectangle? Rectangle, any rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. If this is a 12 centimeter, that means the opposite side is a 12 centimeter. If this is a 12, that means the opposite side is 12 as well. So this one from here to here is a 12 centimeter. Now, what should I do with all these sides? Just add them up. See how it's easy? This way is easy. it's easier than the previous one to add just four side lengths instead of adding many side lengths. You have just to be careful in adding. Now, this is a 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12. You have to add up the 12 as can you see here. When you add up the 12, or you can just multiply 12 by four since all the side lengths are the same. We can add, okay, 24 and 12 plus 12 is a 24 as well. By adding these two numbers, the answer is 48 centimeter. So we can say the perimeter of this compound shape is 48 centimeter. We reached the end. Uh, let's make a quick revision about what we learned today. Today we learned about finding perimeter of a compound shape. We said that we can find perimeter of a compound shape by adding up all the side length or by completing the shape into a square or a rectangle and add up the side length. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.